Hi friends, welcome to Dining with Diamonds. My name is Em and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you are new here and this is the first video that you have seen from me, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here and I hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel and joining our little growing diamond painting family. And if you are returning and this is not your first video, welcome back. <laughs> So this video was a very long time coming. I have been accumulating different waxes and putties from different small shops, as well as some from Amazon and some from my kits for about half a year now. Um, I reached out on Instagram to ask what everybody's favorite wax and putty alternative uh, was for them to use. Um, and so I took everybody's suggestions and opinions and decided to curate a whole big video because I'm sure this is going to be a long one about um my thoughts on each of these fabulous waxes and putties um created by small businesses now um I am going to put out a little disclaimer before I say anything else um I am going to do my best to not be heavily opinionated because obviously out of all of these I do have a favorite um but that's not what I really want this to be about. I want this to be more about demoing and testing each of these waxes and putties so you all can see how each putty works or wax works. Um, but more than anything else, this is going to be uh, mostly pertaining to the longevity of each of these products. One of the qualms that a lot of diamond painters have is the longevity of the pink wax that is included in um the diamond painting kits that we receive. Now there's nothing wrong with the pink wax. Pink wax is really great for most people. Some people don't need to search for a wax alternative because these work great for them. However, I am one of those people that the pink wax is just not my favorite. <laughs> so that's why this video is here. So we can test all of these different putties and waxes from different small shops and see um, what we like the best but this again this is not about what is the best what isn't the best these are all fabulous in their own way what works for me probably most likely won't work for you and what works for you and vice versa you know what i mean so that's what this is about i just don't want people to think that um i'm hating on any of these companies because that's absolutely not the case i love every single one of these companies there's just some certain products that i use more often than others and that's what we're going to take a look at today i hope you enjoy this video and i would suggest grabbing a snack or maybe your current project because this is going to be a doozy, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so normally when I'm diamond painting, I like to use these metal tips, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using one of my diamond painting pens that has a brass tip on it, just because I think that most people who diamond paint do not have metal tips um and another reason for that is because the longevity of each of these waxes and putties lasts differently in the metal placer than it does the brass placer which i'll explain much later in the video but i will not be demoing all the waxes in the metal tip again <laughs> of course because that would be way too long a video um, so I have my tray here and let's get right into this. So I'm going to start with the wax that most people use with their diamond painting. So this is the pink wax. This wax is specifically from Diamond Art Club. If you've ever done a Diamond Art Club kit, this is the wax that will come with that kit. It's in a cute little heart shape. Um, but again, pink wax comes with every kit and I got a little bit on my hand. Um, so what you're going to do if you have wax like this is you're going to want to peel off this plastic film because I feel like that's something that a lot of new diamond painters don't realize they have to do. It does have a plastic film on it. I like to keep the other one on the back um, just so I don't accidentally jab my pen into my desk or whatever I'm diamond painting on because I find that these brass tips really get disfigured super easily. Anyway, let's just 
dab our pen into here. So to load pink wax into your pen is really easy. All you have to really do is just stick the tip into it and kind of twist just a little. But what I like to do is also scoop. I'm a big scooper when it comes to loading my pen. <laughs> it's just the easiest for me. And then you're just going to want to push the pink wax into here. So as for the consistency of this wax, it is very soft. It's almost got a putty-like consistency, but not quite. It's very, I think the best way to describe it is like petroleum jelly. Um, that's the best way to describe uh, the pink wax. So again, nothing wrong with pink wax. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, obviously it's going to be absolutely fine. We're gonna take the ABs from this kit coral from Diamond Art Club, and we're going to test how the pink wax works with these with these ABs. Let it shake. And let's let's test this out. So with ABs and pink wax. ABs and pink wax don't normally mix together, <laughs> especially when it comes to a Diamond Art Club kit. I find that the pink wax tends to pull out of the pan every time you place down um, an AB. So <laughs> it's not the greatest when it comes to placing ABs. I also find it even leaves a little bit of a residue on it. And I just don't think the pink wax lasts very long at all. I can probably get through half a section with pink wax before having to change it out. It also doesn't really make a very satisfying pop sound. Not that that's necessarily important, but I know a lot of people love that pop sound and if you're looking for that with your diamond painting wax, you won't get it from the pink wax, unfortunately. But this wax is fine. It is absolutely not going to hinder your diamond painting. Like it's not going to make your diamond painting harder. Although I do feel like when it comes to ABs, you do have to be more gentle with the pink wax when pressing down. I tend to be a hard presser. Um, so I'm gonna put the ABs back and then we're just going to see how the pink wax works with normal drills. Okay, so I have some drills without that sparkly coating <laughs> on them in my tray. And let's just see, I'm just gonna make sure I have the symbol correct. Let's just see how it works with the regular drills. So it does make a slight sound. Again, as you can see, it's coming out the sides of the pen and that's not totally ideal. We don't totally love that. At least I don't, um, but it works. Does it last a long time? No, it does not. It does not. I just feel like it's a little too soft and it just is not sticky enough to last longer than a full section of diamond painting, but it does work. You're just gonna have to reload <laughs> more often than you probably would like. And that's why I don't use pink wax very often. Now, the next wax I have here is um, blue wax. This does not come with most diamond painting kits. I believe I got most of these from Amazon. They come sometimes in packs uh, that you can buy separately or they come with like a diamond painting essentials kit that you can find on Amazon. Um, I don't know if I have a link for these but I will try to find one and hopefully there will be one in the description if you like how these look. So this is essentially almost, almost the same as pink wax. It has the film on it. It's a little bit of a softer wax, but this wax is a bit more firm than the pink wax. And because it has a little bit more firmness, I feel like it lasts a bit longer. It's also got some sparkles in there, maybe? That's interesting. So <laughs> we're just gonna take our pen again, our newly cleaned out pen, and we're going to dip and scoop. 
until we have the wax in our tip and then we're gonna push it down and get rid of some of the excess on the sides. Essentially, to load blue wax is the same as loading pink wax. So there you go, we have our blue wax in our pen. I'm still getting excess off it, apparently. <laughs> and I have the same drills that I was working with with the pink wax. And let's see if there is any difference here. So already putting these down, I feel like there's more give with the blue wax, meaning like I don't feel like, I feel there's more resistance as the drills are coming off the pen onto the canvas. And I like that little pull because that means there's more of a pop with these drills. Not much, um, but there is a little bit more. I also find the blue wax lasts just a bit longer. I can probably finish an entire section with blue wax, um, which is great, which means it lasts a long time. However, towards the end of one section is when it starts to um, get less sticky because even though it is a different wax, it definitely lasts longer. It's not much different than the pink wax, but this is definitely preferable over pink wax for me. So we've demoed the waxes that come with diamond painting kits most of the time, and we don't really love them that much. They don't last very long. They don't really give us a very satisfying diamond painting experience because we keep finding ourselves going back and um, getting more wax when really what we want to be doing is diamond painting. So now we come to the diamond painting alternatives. And the first um, wax I'm going to share with you is Patty Wax and Patty Wax Super Sticky. Now these are very, very different waxes. Of course, we have Patty Wax Super Sticky in a mermaid tail because that's my favorite. Um, and then we have Patty Wax, which normally comes in a brick like this. This is chocolate bonbon and it smells absolutely heavenly. That's one thing that I really love about wax alternatives and putties. Um, from small shops is that they put scents into their products and they smell absolutely divine. This is so delicious. It reminds me of a gift shop in Disney World. I don't know why, but <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Or just like it smells like an amusement park. It smells like a candy shop. Oh, it smells so good. I love how this one smells. Okay, so there is a bit of a learning curve to both of these waxes. If you are used to pink wax or blue wax, you will have most likely a pretty difficult time with these at first. Um, I know I did. Uh, when I first started using both of these, actually, um, I, I couldn't get it. I didn't understand how to make it work. I watched all the videos and I just wasn't getting it. Um, and then I realized that I kept trying to warm the putty up in my hands because that's how a lot of people um, who were demoing patty wax had explained it. They needed to warm it up in your hands, get it a little softer so you can load your pen. However, I found, and maybe this just works for me, probably, but it might work for you too. Um, I found that the harder the wax is the longer that you can go without reloading your pen. So I'm going to show you how to load patty wax into your pen. I've got a clean pen here. So I'm going to take my brick and you're going to want to scrape. You want to scrape along the back of this brick. I've also scraped from the sides. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Okay. So now I have a nicely loaded pen. I'm gonna push it into here. I think it also depends on where you live as well, um, what the consistency of patty wax is going to be like. Uh, sometimes in transit, it can change. Um, so it, honestly, it's all just circumstantial. It all just depends on what works the best for you. So I'm just gonna take the wax off the sides here. Again, it smells delectable. 
and I'm going to take my drills and let's start putting drills down and I'll tell you my thoughts on this as I'm doing that. So obviously, woo, it makes a great pop. I love patty wax for the reason that it gives such a satisfying pop. That one didn't really do that much that time, but normally it does. Let's try this one. Yep, there we go. Um, so I found that if I don't warm the wax up in my hand, I don't get as much residue on my drills. Because the thing with these wax alternatives and these um, waxier waxes, <laughs> the warmer the waxes are, the more residue it's going to leave on your drills. And we don't like that either. Drills... <laughs> Residue on drills is not is not fun. It's a little, it can be a bit annoying, but I have no residue on these drills because I did not warm up the brick. Um, I found that, oh, that one had a little residue, but when I first started using this brick, I I got so frustrated because it just left such a terrible residue on my drills because I'm a fairly hard presser. Now let's see, because I'm kind of pressing lighter than I normally would. Let's see what happens if I press harder like I do. Ooh, see that time it didn't even come off my pen. <laughs> it didn't come off my pen that time. This is very sticky wax, um, but it did get a very satisfying pop even though it didn't come off my pen. So let's try that again. There we go. Now it does leave a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of residue on the drills when I press harder, but definitely, definitely not a lot. It really all just depends. But if you are having trouble with it and warming it up doesn't really help, um, I would suggest maybe putting it in your fridge for a few minutes and then seeing if that works. Because I've really found with these that the harder the wax is, the less likely it is to leave residue on your drills. So that's really nice. I, I really do like patty wax and now I use it a good, amount of the, a, a good amount of the time. I just don't feel like it lasts a very long time. So that brings me to patty wax super sticky. Super sticky is like patty wax, except it's much harder and we've seen from testing and trying out all these different waxes that the harder the wax is, the better the wax is. So I'm gonna do the same method I did when loading my pen for patty wax. Just scrape along. And obviously I've used this quite a bit. Um, I may have to get more eventually. But we're gonna push that in and this is definitely a harder wax. The consistency is more waxy, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then let's test out the patty wax super sticky. So I will admit to you, patty wax super sticky is probably my favorite wax. Um, my favorite wax alternative. There are putties as well that I love that we'll get to, of course, but when it comes to the waxes that I have, this one is my favorite. It lasts a long time. I don't feel like I have to switch it as much. This isn't giving the pop I want though, which it normally does. There we go. <laughs> it just gives such a satisfying pop. And there's no residue on these drills because it is a harder wax. So I don't have any problem with residue with patty wax super sticky. And it's super satisfying. Um, a really big thing, a really, really big thing with patty wax that a lot of people, um, or I see a lot of people complaining about is that the residue is just not great and people can't seem to figure it out. So I don't know if that'll help you, but if you really want to love your patty wax, definitely, definitely try, um, not warming it up. And if it is warm and you live in a warmer area, definitely try putting it in the fridge for a little bit and see if that helps um, because it helped me. <laughs> um, so maybe it'll help somebody else who really wants to love patty wax. The only thing, and the reason I'm saying this is because it just happened. If you try with both the patty wax and the patty wax super sticky to move the drills with the same tip, 
you will get residue on your drill. It is inevitable. It will happen because you are pushing, or at least I do. I push very hard when moving my drills. You push with more force to move your drills around on your canvas than you do to place them on your canvas. At least that's how, <laughs> that's what happens with me. So because of that, I, if you have a multi-placer at the end of your pen, and this one's really dirty, I apologize. But if you have a multi-placer, I would just flip it around and move it and shift it with your multi-placer because that way you won't get residue on your drills. And I feel like the reason patty wax doesn't last that long, at least in the blocks, is because every time you try to move your drills with your pen, the residue gets on the drills, which means it's the wax is coming out of the pen, which means <laughs> you have less wax to use to go from. So that is Patty Wax Super Sticky and Patty Wax. If I were to just use my single placer for a section, I would probably get a decent amount of use um, with this with this type of wax using the single placer. I don't know how often because I use my multi placer most of the time, but it does last a very long time. So while we're on the topic of multi placers and what to use. Um, in them as a wax alternative, I would really love to highlight the museum putty. This is, or at least it was before I found something new, but this works very, very well. This is a really, really fabulous putty for multi-placing. I was obsessed with this for a long time. As you can see, it's very well loved. Um, I would exclusively use this in my multi-placer and it would last me forever forever i could go weeks without changing the wax in my multi-placer but again for the purposes of this video we're going to use the single placer just so i can show you how this works so if i were to load this into my multi-placer i would stick it into the wax like this push it down and then scoop up i love the scoop method i do it often so <laughs> we're gonna do it with the single placer so I'm gonna push in here, same way as I would wax, like the pink wax, I mean, not the patty wax, and then scoop. I don't know if I got anything there, there we go. So you can see we've got our wax kind of haphazard, haphazardly on there. So I'm just gonna push it with my fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean when you do this, by the way. So the reason I say make sure your hands are clean is not only to make sure that, you know, you have clean hands because <laughs> You don't want dirty hands touching your wax, but um, the dirtier the wax is, the less tacky it'll become. So the more you diamond paint using wax, even though it lasts a super long time, if you use it often, it starts getting dirtier and dirtier just because the drills themselves are not the cleanest. <laughs> so it'll, it'll lose tackiness. So again, I have my drills. I have my putty in this pen. This is the museum putty. And let's test this out. Now, as you can see, the putty, the museum putty doesn't give as much of a pop. But it does pop though. And the only thing with this too is you're going to have to consistently mold the wax back into your pen. I found this with the multi-placer as well. The more I pressed, or the harder I pressed, I should say, the more the wax would kind of leak out or the putty would leak out the sides of it. It is a very soft, soft putty. Um, and usually we've seen that when putty is soft or waxes are soft, it doesn't really last as long. Um, I suppose the same can be said for putty, but just the way it's made and the consistency of putty, it's um, it definitely lasts, or I found, that it lasts longer than waxes in general, um, no matter what um, putty you're using. So from that, you can probably see what my preference is <laughs> and what I gravitate towards more often when I'm diamond painting. But... Um, this museum putty works really well in your multi-placer. I found it works really well, multi-placing. Um, there's no residue with putty as well. The only thing with putty, 
And one of the biggest things and why I actually, this one really isn't my huge favorite anymore is because if you're not careful and you're not, and you maybe have overloaded your pen a little bit, the spillage from the sides of the wax can get onto your canvas and just hang around. There's no getting that wax off your canvas. It's a pain in the butt. It's hard to see what symbols are over there now because you're like, I've got wax all over, or putty, I keep calling it wax. You've got putty all over that part of the canvas. And now I'm like, what is? It doesn't make the stickiness of the canvas any less sticky, but it's just a bit of a nuisance trying to pick off um, the putty with tweezers. Just can get annoying. But that is the museum putty. It's a very soft putty and I highly recommend this for multi-placing. You can also find museum putty on Amazon, by the way. Okay, since I did two waxes before, I'm going to show another putty. So this is not your <laughs> this is not your mother's mud. So this is a obviously diamond painting wax alternative. This is a scented wax, and the name of the Etsy shop is um escaping me. So when I figure that out, I will edit the video and put the name of the shop in here. That way you all know because I am feeling incompetent right now. But this is another scented putty. This one is a mystery smell and it used to have like a um it looked like an ice cream cone imprinted on there but it kind of got a little warped. If you've ever had maple sugar candy that's exactly what it smells like. It smells delicious. <laughs> so with this putty, this is a very interesting putty because it's got a waxy consistency, um, except it's much softer and it doesn't kind of crumble when you're using it like wax does, making it more of like a putty-like consistency. So this one is not really my favorite. I find that it's easy to load though. So this is super easy to load. All you really have to do is scrape and pull. And we've got some right there that I'm going to push into the pen. It really does have a wax consistency to it, except maybe a little softer. So it's got like the, petrol the petroleum jelly feel to it, except a little bit just different. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. But it does seem to have the consistency of pink wax, which, as we know, is not my favorite. But I'm going to show you how this works. So, again, just going to place. Now, there's nothing wrong with this putty at all. I just feel like this lasts pretty much the same amount of time as um, the pink wax does. But if you are looking for just a scented wax and you want something a little bit more fun and you like pink wax, I would think that you would really like this wax, honestly. Like it smells really good, but it definitely does remind me of pink wax. Um, and again, pink wax is not bad. <laughs> pink wax is fine. But if you just want to enhance your diamond painting um, a little bit, then I feel like Not Your Mother's Mud is a, pretty good with that. I don't know how well this works with ABs though, and we'll talk about ABs um, later on in the video and what I find works the best with ABs. Um, but because this is like putty, uh, no, I'm sorry, because this is like uh, the pink wax, um, ABs and Not Your Mother's Mud don't mix the best from my experience, but for those who love pink wax, you will really love this and it smells delicious. So there you go. And of course, I have used it quite a lot to form an opinion for this video. All of these have been tested a lot before this video. <laughs> so that's why this is coming so late after I've received all of these. So that's Not Your Mother's Mud. Honestly, this is more on par with the blue wax than it is the pink wax. Because the pink the pink wax doesn't last as long. This does last a bit longer than the pink wax. Um, 
So I'd say it's more on par with the blue wax. So the next wax I have to show you is from Pretty Placers. These are their wax gems. This is in Coconut Calypso. I do have two of these. One I actually gave to my mom because she really liked these. Um, or I really recommended these to her. Uh, and this that one was unscented, but this one smells like coconut. It smells absolutely delicious. It even looks tropical. And it's sparkly. And it's so, so gorgeous. So these, I can smell it from here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it is pretty strong. <laughs> If you don't like strong scents, maybe don't go for this one <laughs> because, wow, I could smell that from all the way by my canvas and my nose is much higher than that, obviously. <laughs> so this, um, this wax is very similar to Patty Wax. However, this is a much harder wax. It, is, it does not kind of stick to my fingers um, like Patty Wax does because you can tell how hard a wax is um by doing this i don't know maybe i'm just weird and i like the feel of sticky things so it doesn't have that same stickiness is what i'm trying to say as um patty wax does when you just touch it the loading process for this is very similar to patty wax if not exactly the same so you're just gonna take your pen and you're gonna scrape and just load it up really really well and push the wax into the pen now i also didn't mention this with patty wax but if you were concerned about residue um with your drills although i find that doing this decreases the longevity of um of the wax you're using but if you are concerned about residue with drills, you can sacrifice a drill um, or take a trash drill that you have and kind of push down on it to get some excess wax off of um, your pen. So I try not to do that because from my experiments with using these waxes, if you sacrifice, oh, I love love that if you sacrifice a drill a lot of your wax gets on that drill so it kind of decreases the longevity of that wax and that's not what we're going for we want longevity so I try to find like ways to make my wax last longer without oh without um sacrificing so much of my wax so pretty placers wax gems are so nice <laughs> they remind me of patty wax super sticky because they have that same hard um consistency to it oh and it makes such a beautiful pop sound i love 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 this is probably one of my favorite waxes that i have is this wax but does it last a long time? Um, no, it really does not. For somebody who single places, I do not single place often on my canvases, but if somebody wants to single place exclusively, um, this putty, I'm sorry, this, I'm getting all my putties and waxes confused. This wax will probably not last you as long as, um, museum putty wood. I'm trying personally to go a really long time without having to change waxes but as you can see I don't need to dip as much with this wax because it lasts a good amount of time. Do I gravitate towards this wax often? No and maybe I should because I really I really love it and the reason I don't gravitate towards it is because as you will see very shortly I have some preferences um that you are going to see in a minute but that does not mean that this wax is not fantastic because this is actually one of my favorite waxes um and i do enjoy using it and it makes a very satisfying pop let's listen oh i didn't do it that time i hate when that happens okay that kind of did it oh that was a good one so we're having like a mini asmr section session right now with this section. 
Ooh, love it. But as you can see, the more I do it, it starts falling out the sides a little bit. So when that happens, you just got to stay a little vigilant about it and keep pressing it into, um, into back into your pen. Because if you don't do that, then it'll get all over your canvas and you don't want that. And then you will be left with not as much wax in your pen. So the next one I have here, full disclosure, for a very, very long time was my all-time favorite diamond painting wax alternative. This is um, Tacky Stuff from Excuse Me Designs, who is now diamond painting stuff on Etsy. Of course, it will, yeah, Etsy. <laughs> it will be linked, all of these, everything that I'm mentioning today will be linked in the description. I still use this even though I found something that I like even better than this, which is unbelievable. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to it. But <laughs> this is a fantastic putty. It is my favorite. So as you can see, my preference when diamond painting is putty because I just find it lasts a really long time. Now it's gotten older and um, because it's gotten older, the longevity of it has subsided, which is interesting. So I've had this putty since October. And when I first got it, it was so, it still is amazing, but it was even more amazing when I first got it. It would last me um, rows and rows of diamond painting. I would only have to really change it every maybe four or five days diamond painting consistently. It was, it still is amazing, but I realized or I noticed the older that it gets, it gets a little bit harder. Um, and since the putty gets harder, this putty in particular loses its longevity because it is older, which is interesting, but I'm going to show you. So when I got this, she recommended that you use your fingers and you pinch out some putty and roll it and put it in your pen. I found that super difficult and time consuming. So what I do, is I kind of treat this like a wax. I kind of just dip it into my container here and then pull it or drag it across the um the putty and then pull it out. Um when it was a newer putty, it didn't pull out cleanly like that. Um it was a little more sticky and I had to kind of mess with it a little bit so I didn't pull out a lot of wax or a putty keep doing that um but because it's older it's a little bit easier and it's a little bit um more manageable to pull out of the container now but it doesn't last as long however it is still a really really fantastic putty I love this putty so, so much um and the pop oh the pop we live for the pop so I would use this exclusively in my single placer because um, trying to put it in my multi placer I found was really a hassle. Um, so I figured it was really only designed to be a single placer type of thing. So if you exclusively single place, not to mention this smells absolutely delicious. This is called Trick or Treat and it smells like Bubblicious Bubblegum. Um, but when I first got it, it kind of morphed into Bubblicious Bubblegum. Um, because when I first got it, it smelled like um, very cinnamony. It almost smelled like fireball. <laughs> the candy, not not the beverage. Um, it kind of just smells more like um, bubble gum now. But it still smells <laughs> it still smells really good. It did lose a little bit of its smell though. It used to smell so prominent. But that's because it's a really it's a pretty old wax. I've had it six, since October, and it's now March, so it's been a while, and it's been well loved. But as you can see, again, it makes that really prominent pop sound that we love. And I have to tell you guys, this lasts forever. If you want something that lasts forever and that you don't have to change out consistently, definitely, definitely, definitely consider getting this putty. And they smell delicious and they're lovely. Um... So that's why I really love this putty, because it lasts forever, I don't have to change it, um, but just keep in mind the older that the putty gets, the more you'll have to change it out because it just doesn't last as long anymore, uh, which is interesting, but that's the way it works. Hey, so we are coming down to the wire here. I only have three more 
of these putties and waxes to show you. So the next one we're going to demo is Wicked Fairy Wax. This smells absolutely delicious. And this is very on par with um, Pretty Placer Wax. Although, as you can see, I have not used this consistently, not because I haven't wanted to, but oh my god, it smells so good. What is this scent? I don't really remember what this scent is, um, but it almost smells like it smells like cotton candy. Maybe that's what it is. It smells like cotton candy, but it is so... Look at, And look at the sparkles in there. That's really pretty too. So very on par with um, Pretty Placer Wax. Again, like every other wax that I've shown here today, uh, you have to scoop it. Although this definitely is a softer wax. This, um, and it doesn't leave as much residue. Uh, no matter if you have it colder or warmer, it just kind of stays as it is. So I'm going to show you. So we have a very satisfying pop. If you're noticing that all of these are very similar, it's because they are. <laughs> it's because all of them are really similar. Um, they might have some differences. Like this one, again, has a patty wax. Let's see. We're going to do a test here. So I'm going to push this drill into this hole here and see how the wax reacts. Yep. Okay. So one thing that I didn't mention that I probably should have mentioned with the other waxes, if you are single placing and you're trying to push a drill in between two drills and sometimes you need a little bit more force, there will be a little bit of residue. With Wicked Fairy Wax and Pretty Placers, it's not a terrible amount of residue at all. You can actually just kind of brush it and then continue on your way. But with um, Patty Wax, it does tend to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more of that residue just because it is a softer wax all around. So this is Wicked Fairy Wax. Again, very similar to Pretty Placers. This is a good point to bring up. Sometimes the wax can be too good and because it can be too good, the drills don't come off the pen very often onto the canvas. Maybe that's why I don't use this wax very often because it's just so sticky. Oh, and see, now I left residue because I'm trying to push. See, that would make sense why I don't use this very often. So that can happen too. Um, I guess I notice it more with this wax than any of the other ones that we've tested here today during this video. Mm, see, now it's all it's all coming up. Why is it doing that? I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah. And now it's leaving a lot of residue for some reason. There we go. Now it's kind of back to how it was. But, yeah. Um, that's just something to keep in mind with uh, waxes. Um, if you push hard enough, depending on the type of wax that you have, um, you will, there will be residue. And I think that's why I don't use this one as often because the residue is not the greatest. And I could put it in the freezer and see, or the fridge and see if that kind of helps a little bit. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely not, um, a very forgiving wax when it comes to residue. But that's Wicked Fairy Wax. If you like Patty Wax, you like Pretty Placer Wax, you will like Wicked Fairy Wax. Um, just keep in mind that the harder you press, the more residue will come off here. I'm sure if you put this in the fridge or even the freezer for like a few minutes, um, it might change the amount of residue left on here. But um, I didn't do that with this specific one, so I can't say for sure. Okay, so we are coming down to the last two diamond painting uh, pink wax alternatives that I have for you. They're both from Randa's Crafty Corner on Etsy, and she's also here on YouTube and Instagram. I'll link her socials below. Um, and she recently came out with scented wax that I wanted to give a try to as well. She's always had the putty, but um, I recently just bought both of them. So... I want to talk a little bit about this wax. This wax had a very similar learning curve to patty wax, but not 
for the same reason that Patty Wax did. This is an extremely soft wax. Um, I've honestly never seen wax with this consistency before, but because it's so soft, it doesn't leave a very satisfying pop sound or last very long. Um, um, and she recommends when you get this wax to put it in the freezer for um, 30 to 60 minutes. And that's what I did. Uh, I actually left it in there a little bit longer accidentally, more like two hours. But I don't know if that really made a difference at all. I don't think so. Um, and I actually did that twice. So I took it out once, realized that the consistency was still really soft, and then put it back and that's where I left it for two hours. So I have not tried it since I had left it in the freezer for that long. So I wanna see if it's any different. I also um, last night kept the lid off it because I thought maybe if it aerated a little bit, it might get a little bit harder. Because again, I feel like the, hard, the harder the wax is, the better it is. Okay, so this is definitely a little bit harder, not by much than it was when I first used it, but it is a little harder. So it's still a super soft wax. It's really soft. So it's super easy to fill your pen with and to scoop and fill. So that's a that's a bonus, actually. Um, but I want to see if maybe leaving it in the freezer for that long amount of time had made a difference. Maybe it's just supposed to be that soft. So this one I'm still kind of trying to figure out. So let's figure it out together. Let's see how this will work here. So this is, and which is so funny because we'll talk about her putty in a second, but the wax here is probably my least favorite. Um, that might not be the case for other people. I do recommend that if you like um, waxes in general for diamond painting, definitely give this one a try. Um, personally, though, I have a very hard time with this wax because I just feel like it's so it's so soft. It's just a it's a very soft wax. There's cause there every time I put a drill down, it gets um, some residue on it, uh, and putting it in the freezer didn't really even for as long as I did, and even leaving it out to aerate didn't really help. Like there's a lot of residue on that. I don't know why. So let's see. Let's try to sacrifice a drill, even though we want to kind of avoid doing that. But maybe with this wax, it's a little more necessary. So let's push down on a drill, sacrifice it, get some of that wax off of the pen and on the drill. So let's press a little harder because let's, um, I'm a hard presser as it is and I'm still trying to press lightly. So let's see what happens if I press normally. Okay, that didn't pop. Still didn't pop, but there's no residue coming off it now. Okay, so unfortunately, um, it's possible that I could have just gotten not the greatest batch. I don't know, but it doesn't leave a pop. Um, it doesn't last very long at all. Um, it was a little, I was a little sad when I got this wax because I really wanted to love it because I love Randa's putty, which is the last putty we'll have to show here. But I, again, nothing wrong with the wax in particular. But if you're looking for that pop sound, if you're looking for um, longevity, and maybe it's just because I haven't uh, play tested, <laughs> I guess, so to speak, uh, this wax as much as I have the other ones that I can't really figure it out yet. But the good thing about this, though, if you do sacrifice a drill and you have to place... Um, a drill in between other drills, it won't leave residue. So if you do um, get all that extra residue off it before sticking the drills on the canvas, it will, um, it won't leave residue in between your drills as you're working on it, which is kind of what I said before. But, <laughs> but again, if you do sacrifice a drill by getting the excess wax off it, 
It seems to no longer want to make a pop sound, which is sad. It makes me sad. I'm sure somebody watching this video will absolutely love this wax, but for me, it's not my favorite. I'm sorry, Rand. <laughs> but um, this will bring me to my last putty here. So I think it's pretty evident <laughs> that I strongly prefer putty over wax to begin with, basically. I've tried a whole bunch of different waxes for you today, a whole bunch of different putties, um, and all of the waxes, to some extent, had a bit of a learning curve, while the putties were a bit easier to use um, and just lasted a lot longer. Now, there's nothing wrong with waxes. Again, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Nothing wrong with waxes. They do work for some people. I have waxes that I love, but because I found putties just work better for me, the waxes kind of don't get as much love. Um, but I do use all of these. I use all of them. Um, maybe some of them just not as consistently as others. Okay, so the last putty we have here. This is my new all-time favorite putty. Um, so <laughs> I kind of redeem myself a little bit because I'm not the biggest... Um, fan of randa's wax however her putty is my new favorite ever my phone's going off i apologize um this is a harder putty so this is scented and it's scented in um sea breeze and it's got a very subtle scent to it i can smell it from here but it's very subtle oh it smells so delicious so i've been using this in my multi-placer in replace of my museum putty and it has been amazing because it is a harder wax it doesn't spill out the sides of my multi-placer like the muse the museum putty does and because it doesn't spill out the sides it lasts longer i don't have to change it very often i still have um i think i replaced it once but i did like i did a lot of diamond painting with it um, and we'll talk about the metal placers in a second, but let's get through this last putty demo. Again, oh no, <laughs> again, my favorite putty. So we're going to want to, I took a, okay, I'm just making sure I clean this out. So we're going to want to dip and pull and maybe even like push a little bit with our fingers and then we're going to pull it off. So as you can see, or maybe not, I don't know if I got that <laughs> on camera, but when I pulled the putty off, it kind of followed me, which is what the um, the tacky stuff from Excuse Me Designs did uh, before it started getting older. We have our putty loaded into our pen, and let's start placing drills. This putty is so good. <laughs> it is my favorite putty. I use this or i have been using this both in my single placer and my multi-placer but i'm thinking because i want to make it last a little bit longer that i will use um more of my wax because i have wax to use oh <laughs> it won't come off the pen there it goes um it's so sticky that the drills won't come off the pen um however this lasts so long even in your single placer you can do section on section on section with this putty just in your single placer and it will probably last you at least two sections um just because i use it in my multi-placer well, maybe even more honestly because my multi-placer has been lasting me a really long time from section to section with this putty in it so this is just a very, very, very fabulous putty. And it's a harder consistency. So I think it goes to show that the harder consistency, which is interesting actually, because the Excuse Me Designs putty, um, as it got older, also got harder, but the longevity of it decreased. It's the total opposite for this specific putty. It seems like the the um consistency of it the the um I don't want to say thickness but I guess the hardness for lack of a better word of it actually works in its favor because it doesn't 
um, spill out of the pen. Um, and it just seems to last longer overall. So I've demoed all of these, um, all these waxes and putties for you. And I just want to explain the difference between brass tips and metal tips. I will do my best to find where I got these metal tips on Amazon. I did get them from Amazon and they were really cheap. So if I find the link for it, I will link it in the description. But I have found that waxes and putties last longer if they are used in metal tips like these. I'm not sure why that is, but as you can see, I don't know if this is gonna focus correctly, but uh, let me try to, no, it's not gonna focus, but this does have a larger hole at the top to place putty or wax. And because it has a larger hole, I feel like that plays some sort of role in how long the putties and the waxes um, last for. So if you're interested in potentially trying that out and seeing if that might work better for you, I'll have them linked. They're, it's not affiliated in any way. I just feel like this might help people <laughs> um, if they are struggling with the longevity of some of their waxes and their pens. Same thing with the metal multi-placer, by the way. Highly recommend this um, because it doesn't corrode like the plastic multi-placer says. You don't have to replace it. That's just a little... That has nothing to do with the video, but that's just kind of to um, give a plug to how amazing the metal placers are. And this is a thin metal placer. Again, I will try to find the link on Amazon to share with you all. So you guys, we have looked at 11 different putties and waxes and I think it's safe to say that I do have a preference again this was all um my opinion I tried to give suggestions and tricks and tips on how to use some of these waxes and putties um especially if you have some of these and you find that you don't really understand how they work maybe that'll help you and I gave some of my opinions on what I like the best and what I use on a day-to-day -day basis but, um, again, it's safe to say my favorite putty right now is Randa's Scented Putty. So I almost ended this video without explaining um, what I feel like works best for ABs. So in my own personal opinion, again, this could be different from for everybody. I found that putties work better for placing ABs because... It doesn't leave any residue on the sparkly coating of the drills. Um, it tends to be a bit more forgiving when placing down drills. And it, the putty is so sticky that the um, the ABs don't rip it out of the pen. With that being said, though, sometimes the ABs <laughs> don't place on the canvas because the putty is so sticky. So I've realized that the older or the dirtier, I guess, the putty is the easier it is to place A, B. So if you find yourself using putty, um, maybe save some of the dirtier portions and then use those dirty portions um, or dirtier portions to place A, Bs when you come around to having A, Bs on your canvas. And that's how you get around that. I just find waxes are not as, um, are not as forgiving when it comes to placing A, Bs. But again, that's just my opinion. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below uh, what your favorite putty or wax is that you use that um, you found works better than the pink wax. I would love to know. I'm always searching for um, more wax alternatives. I found that I really like collecting them. Um, cause it's so fun to switch back and forth between different ones instead of, although I am highly fixated on <laughs> Randa's putty right now. Um, I like switching between different waxes. So let me know what your favorite is down below. Maybe I'll give them a try. I hope you ha all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And again, none of this was intended to bash any small business. I really highly respect what these businesses are doing. I just hope that maybe um, this can help some people in finding something that works for them, even though I might not prefer 
one of these and I prefer one over the other, that doesn't mean that you will absolutely, like you could absolutely love the one that I'm saying that maybe is not my favorite. But anyway, with that being said, I, um, I will see you all in my next video.